Days Gone got a new update while I was at E3 so still wanted to discuss it right here. But more interesting is the new region that was discovered by a streamer thanks to a glitch in the game. Also we have some more info regarding the upcoming challenges that will be coming to the game. So let's get into it, would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support and let's go. I know that Sony and Days Gone did not have an E3 2019 presence, but I still wanted to highlight my E3 2019 giveaway here. Just follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win an E3 2019 game of your choice on your platform of choice. And be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter. And if you win, I will then reach out with a pre-order code for the game of your choice. Okay, back to Days Gone, because maybe we'll get a new region in an upcoming DLC. I mean, the name is already in the game. Famstaff was streaming the game and was then launched into the air thanks to a glitch. And then suddenly got the Pinnacles region in the bottom right corner of the screen as we see in this video posted by Earl Stranger 38 on Reddit. And yes, that region is not in the game yet, but it would totally fit the real world map. Days Gone is of course set in Oregon in the US and you never guessed it but Pinnacles is an area next to Crater Lake where we also see the Wizard Island that is of course already in the game. So it could totally be that we get a map expansion that will be added later on but that there's already some data about that in the game and if that's the case then we might already know two entrances to this new region. Like we see this tunnel right here that we can already see in the distance. And another road as well that goes into the snow. Both bridges that lead to these entrances have been blocked by cars or the bridge is broken. And you also cannot swim to the other side. At least I tried it but I did not succeed. So maybe these cars will be removed in the future to lead us to this new national forest area. Because that is what Pinnacles should be in the real world. It could of course also be that this is just a placeholder or that they first had plans to add this region to the game but that it was cut from the main game. And that there are no plans to add this region in the future. Let's hope they do have a story expansion though with this new region. That would be really really cool but no info on that yet. We do of course know that we will get weekly challenges really soon and we now got some more info about this. I want to touch on the new update 1.11 first though so let's do that right now. I was in LA when this update dropped but I still wanted to discuss it because it does fix some important things. Like in the survival difficulty my hut would first not appear when hitting R3 because normally you don't see a hut when playing in this difficulty and the idea was that you would only see it when doing the survival vision well with this update this has been resolved and now I do see my mini map they by the way have no plans to add this immersive hut to the other difficulties would be cool to have that as an option in my opinion so hopefully they change their mind in the future also the screen effect for if you are low health should now appear correctly in this new difficulty and they updated the text for the survival difficulty mode as well when you want to start it. So first it said that the new difficulty would block the survival vision but now we don't see the survival vision in the text anymore and that is of course because you can still use it. Other fixes with update 1.11 include for specific quests like the lines not crossed and did not want to join up but also for the executioner skill that did not work against the breaker thanks to a bug. Well that should now work and other fixes are included as well. I will leave a link in the description to the patch notes so you can check it out if you want. But yeah, we are of course waiting for the challenges that are coming in late June. Sony Band's developer Jeff Ross now indeed confirms that the challenges are their own thing and independent of other modes. So likely something new that we will be able to access via the main menu. In my update 1.10 video I was curious if these challenges would be permanent or would like go away after one week. So what we knew is that we would get a new weekly challenge each week for at least 12 weeks. And now we learned that they will never disappear so we can always try and perfect our score. People were also still wondering if the rewards we can get would carry over to the main game. Well only the bike skins and the patches for on our jackets will while the rings and the character skins that has you run around as other characters will not be available in the main game 
and also in the special challenge modes. I mean it makes sense as it would be weird to play Ricky for example while talking to Ricky in the main game or what would happen in the cutscenes. So yes we will only be able to use these character skins in the separate modes. But yeah it would of course still be cool that if you finish the story you could use these character skins because then there are obviously no cutscenes left or no missions left. So hopefully Sony Band adds them to the main game as well but only if you maybe completed all the missions. But no info on that yet. It looks to be exclusive to the challenge modes forever. The first weekly challenge that will be up in late June will have us fight an unlimited horde and when it's live I will of course let you know here on the channel and share some tips and tricks on how to get the best score as well. So totally subscribe for everything on Days Gone. Would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support. And check out my previous Days Gone video, for example on update 1.10 by clicking on the screen. Don't forget the E3 2019 giveaway in the pinned comments. And for now I will speak to you next time. Goodbye!